we're going to build a cinder block grill today and uh, this would be a, a grill that you could use for many years. Uh, I've chosen to attach, build this, attach this to the end of my uh, patio area and uh, let me give you some mater a material list to tell you what we're going to put together this morning and hopefully you can do this at your house as well. It's very easy to assemble. All the components can be bought at a local hardware store, especially like Lowe's or Home Depot. Uh, first of all, you'll need 22 8 by 8 by 16 cinder blocks uh, for the main part of your grill. You'll also need four quarter blocks. These are half blocks. These are 8 by 8 by 8. You'll need seven cap blocks at the very top. These are 2 inch by 2 inch by 16 feet or 16 inches. Then you'll need two pieces of expanded metal for the cooking surfaces. One is 36 inches wide by 46 long, and the other is 12 inches by 46. That'll become an expanded metal shelf, and we'll show you that just in a little bit as we go along. You'll also need one piece of angle iron, two inch by two inch, 46 inches long, and you'll see in a moment why that would be very important. When we're done with our grill this morning, the cooking surface will be 32 inches by 32 inches. It's not big enough to do a whole hog, but it, uh, it's plenty big enough for a lot of chickens, uh, steak, all kind of other um, items you want to cook. This grill will be good for wood or charcoal, and uh, I'll get a wood fire going underneath this in the conclusion of this presentation. The whole entire unit that we'll build this morning, the whole cinder block grill, It'll be 40 inches deep, 48 inches wide, and 34 inches tall. Uh, later, I'm going to do another presentation and make a hood for it, a cover, so we can change this grill into a smoker, complete with a thermostat and a small chimney where I can do a whole, uh, whole turkey during the holidays if I wish. Anyway, thank you for joining us. And the first thing we need to do is to level out this ground here and make a nice smooth level place for the blocks. If we don't do that, the whole thing will be tipped and tilted and it won't go up correctly. So stay tuned and we'll start uh, this in just a moment. So we leveled off our spot for our cinder block grill. The inside dimension will be 32 by 32 inches. That's a large cooking surface. Remember that dimension as you assemble your uh, grill and take measurements from time to time. Let's uh, put the bottom blocks on. The bottom blocks will be made out of 8 by 8 by 16 uh, cinder blocks and there will be uh, a total of 7 of these on the bottom level. On the next level you'll start using your, your uh, half blocks to offset each of the other blocks and give the whole project a lot more strength. looking pretty nice. Now, uh, on the second level, you start off with a half block. Again, that way each block is offset. It'll be a lot stronger if you hit it with a mower. If you knock into it, it's more stable. So let's put that on. And then we'll go with full blocks after that. two more blocks here and then the second level is almost completed. And there she goes. Let's take some close-up shots of this so you can see it a little closer than the camera. Okay, here's a Cut. side view of the cinder block grill. We have two levels put together. You can see the bottom level is all 8x8x16 eight eight cinder blocks. We started out 
on the second level with a half block here, then a couple full blocks, a few more full blocks, and then on the corner there as well, you have a half block. Next thing we want to put on is the cooking surface, the expanded metal, and you can see that over there against the wheelbarrow. Before we assemble the third blocks, third level of blocks on the center block grill, we're going to put the cooking surface here, and then you'll see how low you can build your fire. Uh, you'll have a full 16 inches above to uh, light that fire. But I'm also going to put a piece of angle iron right here. That way, nothing can slide off that uh, cooking surface. Let's do that. And then we're going to start the, uh, the third level of blocks as well. Look at that. Isn't that nice? Oh, it's already looking like a grill. Looking like a nice grill, in fact. Look at that. A lot of good cooking surface. Easy to build. Very inexpensive. Less than $100 or so. And you can buy most everything you need at Home Depot or Lowe's. Although this is not a Home Depot or Lowe's uh, commercial. Let's begin with the third level. You need a full block. The weight of this is going to put keep the cooking surface stable. like this. We'll do the other side now. There we go. Look at that. Don't tell me you can't cook some good chicken on this grill. In fact, chicken, hot dogs, you can throw on some kibasi, do some pork. Later I want to build a cover for this and do a whole turkey on here. That would be great. Now, after you put two of these on the third level, on the back you'll need another half block. So here we go, here's a half block here. You'll also need another half block on this side to match it. There we go, oh that's looking nice. And then two full blocks will be back here. Uh, maybe. Yeah, there we go. In fact, what we're going to do, we're going to take this half block, put it there, and then put this block here. That way they're all really offset, really nice. Level it up. There we go. Look at that. That's a good cooking surface. Now, what we want to do next is put a small shelf on the uh, top level here. Remember, you had that other piece of uh, metal. You're going to put that right about here and overlap a little bit so the way the blocks can keep this on here. And then that's good for coffee pot or extra meat you want to put up there. Then, we're going to go on the very top with our last blocks. Just like this. Oh, look at that, that's beautiful. And then, like this. And then finally, like this. Now it's not quite done, but I'm going to turn the camera off and get set up for one more thing. Okay, here's a walk around of the grill with the third block on it, third set of blocks, and also the cooking surface and the, uh, the small shelf. It looks pretty good at this point, but you know what? I like to do one more thing to help really set that off. You see all the holes in the top? I've got some flat block, two inches by two inches, or two by eight by 16 capstones, I call them. We're gonna put those in there and see what she looks like. With this beautiful center block grill, very inexpensive, uh, big cooking surface. You get a good expanded metal. This thing lasts for years and years and years. Get a few tiki lamps to go around your patio. Light them babies up. Uh, put a couple tables out here and have yourself a good old fashioned southern cookout. Now, 
the last thing I want to do is put the top uh, blocks on top and they're going to act as shelves and you can put plates and utensils on here and this is really going to uh, be the completion of this grill and then I'm going to get a fire going and we'll see what she looks like. There you go, look at that. Oh, isn't that nice? You'll need two on this side. You'll need three at the top. There's your two down here. You'll need, again, you'll need three up here. See, doesn't that really set it off? And let's see. You can put a lot of plates on there, maybe salads or whatever else you want to put on there when you have a cook out. There she goes. <clears throat> this is a beautiful grill. I think it cost me less than $100 to do the whole thing. You can make it. <clears throat> you can make it longer, wider, taller. Make it long enough for whole hogs. Uh, again, later, uh, when I can, I'm going to make me a cover for it so I can take some tin and make a whole shield with a thermometer and a small chimney and so I can build a fire underneath this and do some smoking. So that's going to be really a, a sweet process. Anyway, hope you uh, build a, a grill. If you Here's do, our completed let grill, ready Thanks to go. To We're going to fire up in a minute. Let's take a walk around and see what the whole thing looks like though. Again, you have uh, three levels of blocks in the front and then capstones. On the back, just to set it off like a uh, stove look, you have another set of blocks, another level. The uh, blocks are all intertwined to make them a little bit more stable if something hits it, like a edge of a mower, maybe a wheel of a mower. Here's the back part of it. Again, all interlocked. And then here's the, uh, the other side right here, too. Oh, I guess that shade makes it hard to see. There we go. There's the back of it with a capstone. Now this will get the job done. Throw on chickens, hamburgers, hot dogs, steak. Again, 32 inches square of surface, 32 by 32. And uh, there's that grill that we just made in front of the camera. Take care. Please share this short presentation with a friend of yours and hope you uh, build yourself a good old-fashioned grill and cook out the way it ought to be done. Take care. Bye.